dance in this venue. <laughs> Those are the good old days. So we got Jigs versus Fox. Here's a fun thing about this right here. Ben, uh, ben lost to Napkins, which is a huge upset, because Ben, for probably like a year, talked nonstop shit on Napkins, and then he dropped a quick out to him. Hmm. And so now he's in losers. He's taking out some heavy hitters and losers, such as Ludwig. Don't know who else. So basically, just he just beat you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Heavy hitters. And now he's up against uh, Neek. He's actually pretty good at the matchup. I think Neek's like one of the only uh, mid-level foxes who've, who's taken a set off me. Oh, there's that... Uh I guess Chardlos had an ASU Weekly. And I don't think any of them had taken a set off of Ben. Is there Vitro here? Why are you saying this? Is Vitro in chat? What's this? Oh, uh, it's a picture. Oh, is Vitro? Oh! Duke, you sly dog. Oh. I miss him so much. Isn't that crazy? I'm sitting next to someone who's never met Duke in their life. Well, I mean, I did just start, like, Saturday. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy, Gordo? Yeah. I haven't had enough time to meet him. Well, he's not even in the scene anymore. Duke was legendary for, uh... Being Ben's uh, dark horse, I don't, I don't actually know the phrase. He just beat Ben a lot. He beat Ben more than Ben beat him. And the last time they played, Ben beat his ass, and then he quit the game. So he beat his ass once, and then he just quit the game. Well, Ben beat his ass, and then Duke quit the game. Yeah, that's right. That's what I meant. But uh, you know, Duke's the kind of Duke's actually like a secret softy. So he's the kind of guy who would like want Ben to have that win. Nice bin, by the way. He'd want Ben to have that win, because uh, he's a softie, and he'd think this would be good for Ben. It's called, Who is Your Demon? So he was his demon. Thank you, Gordo and Sherbert. He's playing, like, pretty slop right now. I mean, he plays this matchup pretty, like, uh, pretty well, which means he plays it pretty lame. If you'll notice, he has a two-stock lead, but he still runs away. Uh, he still runs away to laser. There goes Jig's last stock. Wow! Snap, Marth. He starts laughing. Ben bites his lip. I think he's a little frustrated by the way he's playing today. He went Fox against me. And beat me 2-0 cleanly, so... I mean... It doesn't really matter, but... It is important to note he's not feeling the puff. Which I feel like isn't that common. I feel like if you're a puff player, you're usually more consistent than other characters. Just because of the nature and the speed of puffs gameplay. Neek won. Solidly. And Ben is now playing Marth. He's playing the Chris Best Marth. Oh, there's that grab. There's that grab. The you grab know what? Combo. You are right. That's like the I can't do the Mewtwo King setup. Setup. You're supposed to down throw, turn around detail, turn around grab, because it covers everything. But Ben just waits because he can't do it. Almost, almost. I don't think that fair has enough hit lag though. Forward smash kills Marth. That it does. I'm just trying to comment. Look, I'm just agreeing with you. Let me add quippets to your snippets. Trust me. Did you just make that up on the spot? I'm a professional. Of course I didn't make it up on the spot. I planned for this weekly months in advance. No, the quid bits to your snip, whatever that was. Yeah, I made that up. It's a Ludwig Augurn original. 
Pretty good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Feel free to use it on your friends. It's a great way to meet women. Mm. Ooh what a smart up -y. Ow. Do you know about the Marth Killer? Well, he just dodged it. That counter is pretty ass. Cause like, what what can Fox even do at ledge? They can only do the uh, the Ash Green drill. You know, they don't usually nair on stage. It's not gonna give you that much damage countering that. Just my thoughts on the matter. Gordo, do you watch Melee? Not usually. When did you get into Smash? But not I'm talking about playing, but just watching. Uh, I sometimes watch Smash 4 tourneys. I know, but when did you start? Like, say, half a year ago. So you're fresh off the boat. Yeah. I mean, I've been playing Smash for a bit longer, but I just started Ooh. with tourneys. You're right on Ellis Island still. Do you know about 69%? Yes, I have heard about 69%. How do you, how'd you already hear about that? Because I've been here for two days, you hear all about the 69%. That was such a good down tilt. Neek's looking so fucking hot right now. Uh, you asked who do I main? Look at my name. DDD. Yes. Nailed it. Got it, boys. I didn't ask you that. No. Someone in chat? Yeah. Some idiot on the internet asked you some stupid question that they could have easily found out if they put two and two together. I'm with Actually, you. Yeah. I'm with you, Gordo. Do you live close to here? Uh, no. How far away do you live? I live in Happy Valley, so it's pretty far. How like far is that? From here, it's like an hour and 30 minute drive. How'd you get here? Uh, I carpooled with my friends. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, did your mom drive you this way? That'd be ma that'd be like mom of the year award. She is planning the. Uh, she's planning to get a building permit and to actually make another SAK gaming like gaming lounge up north. What? She's making. She's planning on making another one of these up north. Like SAK brand. No, like, like a like gaming her, lounge, okay. like right here. Another one of those up north, so that people don't have to drive as far. Holy shit, dude! Yeah, she's actually serious about it. What a what a mother. My mom. Um, well, I mean, it's it's the mother that provides for the family. What does that? Do you have multiple mothers? Yeah. Do you have two mothers? Yeah. I've never met my dad. You have two mothers, and you've never met your father. Biological father, to be exact. Do you I'm have one a, of those kids? Give a step. Okay, so you have two. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's a donor. There's a donor. The, oh, yeah, okay, then that makes sense. Yeah. I was so confused. I mean, then it's normal that you haven't met your father. Somewhat normal, right? Yeah. Do you want to? This is getting too uh, real. This is too real for SAK commentary. Do you want to meet your father? Your biological father? And not if he's ugly, because... What is that? What? Or if, he, if he's just not a nice person, then that means I'm going to grow up that way. That's not true at all. I mean, sure, there's some of his nature in you, but he's not imparting any of his nurture. So you're more likely to grow up as one of your mothers, or more likely, a combination of your mothers. That is true. Ooh, nice down Anyway, Ben's Marth is cooking. Whatever. All right? Everyone can see it. Fox. His fox could not PR. That's the dumbest thing I've read all day. Remember the, some of the stuff I've said? I said I read. <laughs> Let's not get too carried away there, Gorda. <laughs> <laughs> the West Ball shorten. Just so you know, that's the West Ball shorten. Yeah. So you do shorten above. Yeah. You knew that? I knew the. I knew like the basics of that. You knew the basics of a West Ball shorten. Well, I know that's. I didn't know the ex exact name, but I knew about that thing. You're crazy. 
You know too much already. Classic. Yeah, winners is Dill and Glitch. Oh no, Glitch won, so it's just Glitch and Grand Finals. Good back here, Ben. It'd be actually shocking if you reverse 3 0 right now with Fox. But his Fox looks great. Ooh. That was weird. Nico's actually fully prepared for him to do that for some reason. Although Cheese did the same thing to me, so maybe it's just like a kind of a scrubby thing to do. Ben didn't lose to Dill. Ben lost to Napkins. All right, back to the back to the matter at hand. Yeah. Your mothers. Oh. One of them is gonna build a, or thinking about at least building a gaming lounge in Happy Valley area or uh, like North Phoenix. And uh, Happy Valley, like. Is uh, that like Avondale? Uh, let me try to think about uh, where. Like, you know Norterra? Do I know what? Like the uh, the area of Norterra. Is that a Bionicle? What are you saying? Norterra? It's it's an actual like it's like a I've never heard of that in my life. No, I haven't, I haven't. Uh, it's it's probably near Happy Valley though, right? Yeah. Uh, that makes sense, I can work with that. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to think about Should where all the way down there. like some identifying features. It's in the middle of a, it's in the middle of a ring of mountains. Regardless, she wants to build something up north. Like what we have. How going on here. serious is she about this? She says she's been considering doing something like this for some, quite some time. Gaming related? Yeah. Are you a big gamer? I'm a big gamer. She she doesn't she can't play games for crap, but she knows that uh, it could be a good source second source of income. What's your what's her primary source of income? Uh, Hill Brothers Chemical Company. Mm. Classic. Hills Brothers, chemical, chemicals, yeah. yeah. Hills Brothers, <laughs> uh, the Brothers of Hill and their company with chemicals. Yeah, classic. That was actually an amazing combo, Ben. Yeah, Ben, if you're watching, good job, buddy. Tied it up, two-two. I'm rooting for White Fox. You're rooting for Green to make yeah. this commentary unbiased. All right, sure. Go, Neek. Those air dodges have been just terrifyingly scary, and I feel like terrible also. <laughs> I was like chilling, dude, in that double set where he just up tilted Dewan as he ran in. Good crouch cancel. Shine. Oh. Ben, I guess, didn't see that he regained his double jump. Ooh. Yeah, I guess run up up smash works. Yo, did he just run? Uh, oh no, I'm not gonna do that. It's too I'm late. You already did. You gotta own up. You did it. The people heard. <laughs> no tech. Ooh, big fist. You don't think Neek's playing that bad? I think Ben just has been turning it on sometimes. Neek has been controlling this whole game for the most part. Ben's just had some pretty serious combos. This is a spicy situation right here. Woo! Oh. Ooh, the damage. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, what was that? Coverage. Neek covered literally nothing. Shorten. Oh, shit. Oh, he should have just side beat right away. He's getting a bit uh, high strong. Tech in was smart. Tech away was smart. Or no tech, I guess, roll away. Oh, he's great DI. Phenomenal. The angles. Ben Shine. <gasps> the drill. <laughs> Let's go, Ben. <laughs> and Neek, who also did well that match. Because I'm unbiased. <laughs> Well, wow, that was actually super clutch shine. Yeah. I don't even think he needed to go down there and shine. I think he shined him as he was coming to up, too. It wasn't even on, on uh, our Armada shine. Wow. That's actually the sickest, is when they side B onto the stage, and then you just shine them in the middle of your side B, and they just fall off. That is the sickest. Yeah. 
This would probably be Neek's first win on Ben. So if you're up 2-0 against a player you've never beat, you do get a little nervous. Maybe a little bit of a uh, flubs here and there. And right now it's looking like... Uh, looks like Ben has a commanding read on Neek. Maybe not punishing as well as he could. Probably because he's not playing his main. But the fact that he has this and he's looking confident in game 5 feels like he's in a favor even though he's down a stock. What do you think about that, Gordo? Uh. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say because eh is exactly how Neek is looking right now. You know, even though he's tied technically three stocks apiece, he's been doing some roll-ins, maybe some unwarranted uh, um, spot dodges. That up smash right there, like, he's getting baited. The good thing is, I think autopilot Neek is really good at this point because he's been playing the game for a while. So like he can rack up 30-40% off of one combo. No sweat. Still though, Ben's being a bit aggressive. Ben's just reading literally every roll option he's doing. The only issue is like his punishes are actually super shitty because again, he's not a fox man. Neeks also have been struggling covering get up attack. How do you, how did neither of those knock him down? Was that just crouch cancel? That's crazy. Oh, that's a shame. If he boost grabbed, he would have gotten it. He did a jump cancel grab, so he just fell short. Oof, gets away with it. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, he, it looks like he did it. He has that. all the reads on him. Neek's literally just hoping his autopilot's going to get him there. And he's also been failing the edge guards. Ben's almost been shorting every single time. Wow, Ben has ledge dashes? He has game five ledge dashes? Who would have thought? Let's go for some dumbass cheese with the dash tag there. We got fire stage coming up. Getting a little bit nervous. Ooh. As Gordo said, fire stage is here now. Uh, Last brain. time fire stage was here, they didn't really interact. Uh, you think they can hear us? Because, uh, look at this. They might be able to a little bit, but uh, I don't think that would affect their gameplay. I think both these players have been playing long enough. This is some high-level gameplay. I mean, look at this. This is... Jeez. I mean, there's a reason you're doing this. Uh, Ben's up a stock. So you can rack up damage pretty quick against that tree. You can also save your life if you have high percent, but... Just pretty scary lasers there. Don't want to side be off stage. Neek's lacking a lot of patience. He's not really waiting for Ben to do something and reacting. He's just kind of hoping it'll work. Trying to go for a read, and most of his reads haven't been there. Although you should really be reading those short ends by now. Just holding the ledge. He didn't air dodge because last game or two games ago he SD doing that, so I guess he didn't feel comfortable. This is literally the exact same situation as last game. He dash attack up smash, and then it was 100% versus 0%. Oh, oh, I'm nervous. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh. How did he lose that? Wow.